Hello everybody, before we get to your forecast, I just do want to update everyone on what is going on with my apprenticeship program training. We are now at 21.9% of goal. Thank you to everybody who has donated this week. I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I know that we will get there, that all the money will come in at the right time, as it's supposed to, and that um, we will have the interactions that we need to um, when the time is right. So looking forward to getting to meet and work with all of you, looking forward to being able to give you my gift back to you, that Reiki, and um, just really excited that things are just moving forward. So on to your readings hello there Libra thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of August 15th through the 21st what we have coming up for you on Monday is the ten of swords in reverse ten of swords in reverse is actually a really good card to have and there's a couple of different meanings that it's coming in on for me for today for you guys um, so first of all, Ten of Cups, or excuse me, Ten of Swords in Reverse can be um, that if you have had a, I'm hearing a chronic backache, you could be getting some relief from that backache on Monday. Um, for others of you, this is a little bit more about words, about thoughts. Um, so this can be a situation where somebody was talking about you whatever they were saying was not true and word was kind of getting around about it it was like one of those rumors that seemed to be spreading like wildfire i think that you realized that the rumor was out there i'm not sure that you realized exactly how far reaching it had gone something though happens on monday that sort of sets the record straight and it's not anything that you're doing consciously libras it is just you're taking care of business is just the way that you feel like business should be taken care of and as you do so um, what you do really flies in the face of whatever it is that's being said about you and it really proves to the people around you that have heard these rumors that whatever it is that they've heard is absolutely not true because it just doesn't match up with your actions. So of course this pulls any slander away from you and at the same time it does make those other people question the people who are spreading the rumors. So it's a good card. It's a good end to um, a situation that has been um, just an annoyance for a while. I feel like for some of you a bigger annoyance than to others but it's a nice end to that situation and it's completely unplanned it just totally happens out of nowhere just because the truth always comes out all right so let's look at tuesday labor what we have here is the ace of cups in reverse the ace of cups in reverse is telling me that you are seeing somebody's true colors on tuesday and when you see their true colors i think number one you're surprised but i think also your opinion of them floats down a couple of notches. For some of you, this is you actually realizing that someone that you have had on a pedestal for quite a while, you're starting to realize, oh my goodness, that person's human. <laughs> and so this actually can be an, a good, healthy change in perspective for a lot of you. Um, for others of you, this is going to be more of, um, I just thought this person was better than this type situation and um, just having that reality check of, of the idea that this person is human too and they have mistakes. Um, this card really a lot of times when I see it, what it makes me think of is that time that we all go through where we have the transition, we have that epiphany of a thought of my mom isn't perfect or my dad isn't perfect. They don't have all the answers because you kind of go through life from the time you're a baby looking up to mom and dad as they know everything, they can do everything, they have control of everything. And so when you get to the age to realize, well, wait a second, they don't know everything, they don't do everything, they don't control everything. It's a little bit of a shocker and it's a little bit of a letdown. And that's kind of the feeling I get whenever I look at this card. It's that feeling of kind of being shocked and let down um, by whatever the reality is about this person in your life that you 
some of you will have had on a pedestal. Okay, let's look at Wednesday. Here we have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is just telling me that you have some kind of conflict to deal with on Wednesday. Um, normally I actually see this a little bit differently than this, but today it feels like this is direct conflict. So this is, you know, not agreeing with somebody and just, you know, not being the nice guy and walking away and not saying um, what you're actually thinking. Or maybe they normally walk away and today they're not. Um, this could be a situation, if you're not careful, Libras, where you end up actually burning some bridges. Um, and I think that you will regret that at least to a certain extent in the future if you do let it get to that point. But this is, um, this is going to be a trying day. It's going to be a day that's a real challenge to keep your cool and to remain calm and to not engage. And I feel like for some of you Libras, um, someone is kind of goading you to engage uh, on Wednesday. So it's going to be completely your self-control that decides the fate of that situation. Okay, so looking at Thursday, we may have a hint to Wednesday's situation. We have the Eight of Cups showing up. The Eight of Cups just tells me that there is a situation in your life that you're looking at and you're realizing, wow, this just leaves me depleted. I put so much energy into this, but I get nothing back for the energy I put in. It's not good. And so I feel like you decide to cut your losses and walk away from whatever that situation is that has been having you feeling depleted. And when I say situation, this could be a relationship as well. Let's move on to Friday. Friday you have the Four of Swords, which doesn't so much surprise me too much after the Eight of Cups. Four of Swords is downtime. It's time to really think things over. It's a time of not being able to do everything that you would normally do. I mean, this can be caused from anything like uh, breaking a bone in your arm and having to wear a cast and needing some help, or if the computer goes down and you can't actually work. But this is some kind of forced downtime, and it gives you a chance to get a new perspective on things that have been going on in your life, things that normally you don't have the time to think about. Now you certainly do. And so you come out of this forced downtime with this whole new perspective that's a more updated, more modern version of you, one that fits better in the life you're living now. Looking at Saturday, what we have here is the Temperance card in Reverse Libra. Temperance in reverse just means that there's something that is, and I'm hearing the word majorly, there's something that is majorly out of balance for you on Saturday. Uh, for some of you, I do feel like your workload or what you're expecting from yourself or from your body is just too much. And um, you've been kind of pushing yourself, and I feel like it may be that your body just goes into rebellion on Saturday and says, nope, not doing that. <laughs> So this could be anything from getting sick to where you don't feel like good enough to get up out of bed and walk around and work or do whatever, um, just to just not feeling good, just not feeling like doing anything, just hitting that burnout mode of, you know, staying on the couch and not getting off the couch until I have my energy rebuilt, kind of like recharging that battery. Um, but something definitely is out of balance for you on Saturday, and, and you're aware of it. You're definitely aware of it, and you're taking steps to correct that on Saturday. On Sunday, Libras, what you have coming up is the Fool. And the Fool is really a fantastic card. Um, it, I would not call this card the Fool, first off. <laughs> I think that's kind of an insult to the card. Um, I would call this card the Leap of Faith. Uh, this card just really talks about that you have something that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know what to do with this situation or with this relationship or with whatever this is and that knowing comes from deep inside it's that intuition that gut feeling whatever word you want to put on that um, and so I feel like you are following that intuition or gut feeling you're following that message from inside of yourself and you are moving into this new thing or into doing something in a new way on Sunday and I love to see this card come up especially right side up because um, 
when we show sacred spirit that we honor those messages that come to us through our spirits um, then sacred spirit honors that and he almost it's almost like he he's it's almost like saying okay look she's listening she's doing what I asked her to do I can't let her down now that type of thing so it's the beginning of a journey where you may not really know what the next step or the next step or the next step will be and the whole time you just have to trust that sacred spirit will be there for you helping put those steps right in front of you and that's that's really what it is and it's the most fun getting journey that you can have if you're used to having a plan it can be extremely stressful <laughs> but if you're okay with not having a plan and if you've learned to just surrender and trust that higher power then this is just a lot of fun and it can be such a delightful journey so I'm glad to see that coming up as beginning for you on Sunday Libras all right, so that is your week. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. If I don't see you this week for a reading or for a Reiki session, I'll see you back here again soon. Everyone have a fantastic week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master and so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes I've been accepted into the master program but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that um, I need to raise another three thousand dollars to get myself into the program and so that's where you guys come in um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no do donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But, so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone, I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy if you have any particular thing you want to 
um, have work done energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you see how you're feeling that type of thing um, anybody who donates anything more than $50 what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars so say you donate $50 then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate like I said all of the help any of you can send I know not everybody can send not everybody will want to send help um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly quickly otherwise I would probably have to wait I don't know six months a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate and um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well so thank you thank you thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought some prayer some attention and um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well I appreciate it all thank you so much peace